Hello guys and welcome to ColourMcGill.com and my name is Colin McGill. Um, the post I have for you today actually guys is Can Local Businesses Blog uh, or Can Local Business Owners Blog and of course they can, there is no doubt about it. But th I think the problem is many local business owners worry about what they can blog about. And I'll just give you a simple example. I was actually speaking to a local business owner the other day and that's exactly what they said to me is, but sure, what could I blog about? And I turned around and I asked them the simple question. I said, uh, what do you know about your business and industry? And they looked at me and uh, quite seriously said, um, what I don't know about the, this business or industry isn't worth knowing. So obviously I was smiling at them and saying, well, there's your answer. You have plenty to blog about and write about. And yes, guys, I would say anyone that is in local business uh, or small business are experts because at the end of the day, you've gained the experience and better still, you have found the solutions to obstacles people face in local and small business. And I think that's vitally important to understand and that while the, the way to look at this about uh, blogging about your small business, there's two things, there's two main uh, departments, I suppose, for a want of a better word, that you can focus in on. You can focus in on your customers and uh, fellow businesses within your industry. So we'll talk about the business within the industry first. You can start blogging about your experiences, your solutions that you've come up with to overcome these obstacles. Obviously, other people in business are going to want to know, and this will give you credibility and give you an authority because you can do tutorial type videos and blogs uh, helping people uh, to overcome these obstacles uh, that are in business and are in the same industry as you. And you can imagine this will create alliances and partnerships which will be mutually beneficial, obviously, down the road. So it's vitally important. That's one aspect you could start. Uh, there's a lot of uh, different topics you could blog about there. Obviously, the other side is the one you want as well is your customers, where you want to draw in your customers and um, uh, increase your business at the end of the day and increase your customer base, which is what it's all about, really, to be quite honest. But many local business owners don't realize. I think when we develop our websites and we start blogging, we start speaking about features of our um, products and services. The problem with features is, especially in some products and services, it's just too technical and it makes no sense uh, to our potential customers. And they can't relate really to that uh, to these features. In comparison, if you focus on benefits and what value you can add to them, it makes a big difference, guys. Because uh, if you just see our own buying behavior, we're all the time looking for the benefits of that product and service on our on our life, what it will do to different aspects or different uh, things we need, what are the benefits uh, to us by purchasing this product or service. So I would say definitely focus in on your, uh, on your benefits of your products and service. Just a another thing uh, to speak about guys is um, getting back to the question, can local businesses owners uh, blog? Of course they can. And I'll just give you a simple example. I was speaking to a, a manager of a hotel lately uh, that um, wanted me to have a look at their blog because they found while they had a, another member of staff and themselves were managing the whole online presence, they were finding it hard to come up with the content. And actually, this particular hotel owner was located in London and a, a, and a, a very a cool location in London. I actually lived there in Camden Town myself. And while they were looking, uh, while I looked at their blog, it was a fantastic blog. But the thing was, they were looking very much inwardly and they weren't highlighting the actual location and uh, the, the location and the other businesses around them. Because at the end of the day, while you are a hotel, uh, many other hotels have the same facilities as you are, has the same ratings, you have to show uh, the customer or the potential customer the benefits of how uh, beneficial to them it's by staying with you. Not only enjoying the great facilities, but in enjoying the surrounding area. Because uh, that particular location obviously has fantastic bars, music venues, um, restaurants. There's a, a great little food court there. There's a great market there. Uh, so obviously, and there's great uh, clothes shops. So obviously, it, it has a, a big um, a big incentive for people to stay there if they're going to that particular city. And what I was saying to them is maybe they could uh, write about other business, sh showcase other business, because don't be afraid to showcase other business because you have to think of the bigger picture guys it's all about showing the customer the benefit for that scenario of staying in your hotel what the surrounding area offers equally it had great transport links to all the rest of london which also is a big is a big um, a big incentive for tourists when you know yourself when you're going to a location you want to be able to go to other locations quite easily from there 
and that was being left that particular location is because too many businesses we're all guilty of it we look to we focus too much inwardly on what we offer think outside the box a bit guys you have to think about benefits what is the real benefits to the customer coming and staying with you obviously you're going to benefit ironically enough yourself from they coming you're going to increase your business and your customer base obviously but the thing is it's about creating hooks and showing um showing uh the customer the value of they coming staying with you in the case of the hotel scenario so that's it guys for me today in my post i would just say from the point of view of blogging within the industry you have loads of information you have loads of solutions uh to get over different obstacles that you have faced within your industry what other people will really want to know and obviously then you'll create partnerships where you can help each other out and obviously um you will be stronger with these partnerships and alliances going forward in the line of the customers i would say think outside the box and definitely start highlighting benefits and think uh from the point of view of not uh what fantastic facilities you have is what facilities and what your customer really wants and take it from that angle i think start writing from the mind of, of your customers is the way to go so that's it guys i hope that answers can a uh, small and local business blog uh definitely i would say uh, no doubt about it and all i would say is start uh, start getting out there and start creating the content uh, if you are any on any of the other platforms outside of my blog there will be a link underneath to colmigill.com and it will take you directly uh, to see uh, other posts of this nature so again i would like to say thank you for visiting me at colmigill.com and i hope to see you in the next post actually in regards to the next post what i'm going to do is i'll put up a post on how to uh, tips on blogging for local business so that's it guys uh, thanks again and i hope to see you in the next post